Welcome guys to part 37. 37 episodes on this game. Absolutely unreal. I'm recording this episode on the same day as the last episode, so I'm a little bit nervous because that one didn't go at all well. Yes, I was a bit unlucky, but I was also a bit rash, a bit quick, a bit clumsy, maybe a little bit over cocky. So yeah, hopefully I've learned my lesson. Hopefully. Take my time and don't use luck as a as a reason for my failures. But yeah, I want to get this monkey off my back and that is to deliver drilling equipment to the drilling site in Northport. And then we go to Michigan, which you guys voted for in the last episode. So that is what we're going to do. We're, we are going back to the original region we started in. Michigan. Oh yes. Also incredibly tempted this week to maybe live stream, or maybe next week actually, um, Mod Runners. Mod Runner, which is the, the second game. Um, yeah, really tempted to try that game out. Um, yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna cut across here again. It's actually quite a good route. A bit safer as well. Yeah, I so badly just wanna deliver this. <laughs> I just wanna get it done. The thing is, it's, it's heavy. So, to move it, if you make a mistake, you need a heavy crane. Uh, yeah. It's just a massive, heavy, heavy item. If you guys want to play the game for yourself, there'll be links to the game in the description below. You can become a member as well if you guys want to directly support the channel. Completely understand, though, in these, uh, these trying times. Don't feel any pressure to. But, yeah. It's there and available if you want to. Of course, subscribe. There's still about 45% of people that watch each episode who aren't subscribed as my voice gives up. So yeah, that is my little selling pitch. Right, touch wood guys, keep touching that wood. I can't, I can't believe how bad the last episode went. I actually left a comment saying, I'm not sure if this is an epic episode or golden episode or a terrible episode. And a lot of people said gold, so I guess that's good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, so I bought a, a couple of Russian trucks. Some new Russian trucks to try out in Michigan. Obviously going to take some of the current trucks we have. Basically with the idea of conquering... Oh God, no. Please don't get stuck here. The idea of conquering Michigan once and for all. I'm going to get straight through this. I I got stuck on something. I don't know what, though. We are creeping forward, though. Creeping forward! I guess any SnowRunner player will say this. As long as you're creeping, it's all good. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's when you stop and <laughs> there's nothing to grab onto. That's when it gets a little bit scarier. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get it going again. Yeah, I so badly just want to do this. I, s I have to get this monkey off of my shoulders. Go away, monkey! Leave me alone! I have to do it. Have to do it. Has to be done today. In this episode, right now. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Splash. Oh, a brief little indicator there. Right, this is where I tipped a vehicle twice. So I'm going to low. We're going to take it easy. Looks like the train maybe has repaired itself a little bit. Because it is absolutely battered. It is muddy, actually. It's proper deep, isn't it? going. I think I tipped it already by now. Low plus, more power. It's all good. Woo! I literally think I stopped breathing at moments in this game. Actually stop breathing. No breath leaves my mouth. Can we get this done? So I went from... Uh, White Valley. The White Valley? I always forget the name of it. I always get the names completely wrong. Yeah, White Valley. Uh, the airport all the way to here. 
North Pole. With this cargo on board. One last stretch. One last stretch. Trying to hit any trees or any signs. We're so close. So close. I must get this done. I must complete my goal. I actually want to try and find out if I can find where the last vehicle, last vehicle that is basically free in Michigan. I think I've got eight out of nine or something. If we can somehow find that last vehicle, that'll be cool. I'm down for that. I'll do a quick little Google search. Because I have no idea where it is. Absolutely no idea. Oh, no, 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 it's going to even itself out, surely. Oh. <sighs> what does this game do to me? I think particularly the, the last crash I did in, in the last episode, I think that was... That was... Seriously unlucky. That was. <laughs> looking, I even looked at your back, I was like, how did I crash that? How did that happen? I'm going to turn as late as possible, but obviously this vehicle does not turn very well. Yeah, there you go. Still turn too late. Yeah, I watched your back, I was like, I really don't get this. I don't understand how it happened. Oh, you are so close. Oh, please, please, please. Please. please! Please, 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 I think we are... Good. Yes, baby! Finally! New drilling site is built. Done! So that, if you go to the global map, got one element ticked off. Oh, yes. Not bad going. Woo! I'm happy about that. Very happy. So I think I found the last vehicle in Michigan. It's called Fixer Upper. Uh, this is Smithfield Dam. And ironically, just near the dam. There it is. I'm currently in the yard. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Using the yard. Uh, guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Is that? Oh, that's a sign, actually. But I'm pretty sure the vehicle is here. <laughs> what vehicle is it? I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. It's a delivery, by the way. So it's not a repair job. At least I believe so. That's just there. A bit further up. And we basically have to go back to the garage. That is the goal. This will be the first mission we do back in Michigan. So we'll be in Michigan for uh, a couple of episodes at least. Excited to be back. Hopefully we can absolutely destroy the contracts. Ooh, hello. Hello, beautiful. How you doing? The White Western Star 4964. Beautiful. Start tracking it. Yeah, so it's the delivery. Can I go up here? I know there's a lot of trees there, but that would be the most direct route. If I can do that, oh, that'd be great. Um, I, mean, I can give it a go. There's nothing. There's no harm in trying, right? There's no harm in trying. Let's go. Cool. That's a struggle at first. I hope I hit the right vehicle. <laughs> I hope so. Fingers crossed. Try get into a high gear. It's probably a bad idea. Ooh, is this a bad idea? Did I pick the wrong vehicle? This will be completely my fault. This is something to do with luck. So there are now. I thought we'd be able to conquer this pretty easily, but... I guess not. Rassy then! Uh, oh, what the? <laughs> uh, take two! I did take a bit of suspension damage there. Hit a rock fairly harshly. Whoopsie. Uh, is this truck any good? Um, I don't know. I swear, I feel like it's been mentioned before in the comments as being a good truck. I don't know, though. 
I have no... Oh. Sometimes I forget to do that. Switch it back into the forward motion. It's actually... This next bit is actually going to be pretty tough. Because it's quite... It's quite steep. And some of the angles, the corners are pretty tricky. So this is not going to be easy. Even if this can pull the White Western Star. Attach it up though. There we go. And let's go. Forward! There we go. Now it's moving. Yes, yes, yes. Take two. Gonna drag it through the water. Actually, because I've quite a low truck. It's got a filter there on the left, though, I think. So, should be alright. Yes. It's all good. Right, so, the only route we can really take... We could go along this bank. And go up there. I think we just try up here. Have to give it a go, at least. If not, if we fail, we can always try another plan, I guess. Pool! Alright, let's go left here. Make sure we leave enough space. Just about enough space there. Yep. Trample the trees. <laughs> See, but Jomi is quite confined, isn't it? It's not, it's not much space to put a truck as well. And it's pretty steep. But if we manage to get this vehicle to park in, we can actually buy it. We can sell it. We can upgrade it. So it's definitely worth doing. And that means we have all the vehicles in Michigan that we can get. All nine. Great sounding circle there. Turn. Turn. There we go. Very reluctant to turn. I mean, it's trying to drag a truck. We can do this, surely. Oh, as we ride there. I was worried. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. This is really steep, isn't it? There's a rock right there as well. Oh, it's doing well. It's impressing me. Come on. Please don't get stuck. Was it? Was it? Oh, tree. No. Damn you, tree. Let's try this again. Too many trees around. Too many trees indeed. I'll be the, the worst. The worst rescuer. I'll be horrific. Try get, just try and get around this tree. Come on. We passed the tree? We are past it. Yes, we're past it. Yes! like maybe taking a different route might have been the best idea but we're making this work so that's all we can ask okay, for that tree on the left we're past it yes that's the worst bit Woo -hoo -hoo. we did it our luck has changed finally yeah if you guys haven't watched the last episode i definitely recommend it it was um Interesting. I have got a few comments about my driving and, and what I did as well, which I get. I definitely screwed up a little bit. Definitely. But yeah, I was a bit unlucky as well. Definitely a combination of both. That's for sure. Are the wheels, I think the wheel, I think all the wheels are flat. They look very flat. They don't look good, do they? I think that's why it was such a struggle. But I can't fix it. It's a delivery, so. I guess one of those deliveries where you deliver the vehicle and you get to keep it. I'm like, why can't I just repair it or just take it straight away? I don't get it. So what I might do before we continue is read the uh, the bio. Uh, there's an old broken down truck near that uh, needs some serious TLC. <clears throat> uh, there's an old broken down truck near nearby that needs some TLC. Yeah, I can see that. If you're up for it. A bit of elbow grease, then it's all yours. I'm happy you'll find a use for it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Oh, I will do that. I pressed B far too many times. Let's go! <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> uh, 
well, at least if, well, touch wood, we deliver this vehicle, it's already been more productive than the last episode, so. That's a plus. That is a plus. Massive plus. I still can't believe we've done 37 episodes in this game. Absolutely insane. Insane. If a, if a series, if, if any game beats this series this year in terms of my enjoyment and your guys' enjoyment, uh, viewership and support this year, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy man. Be a very happy man. I guess this might be a little bit of a test. It's not that steep, though. Nah, it's fine. It's all good. Yeah, this needs some serious. TLC, baby. It is battered. Absolutely battered. It's not in great shape, is it? I always love it. it just It keeps trying to start the engine. It's like, it ain't gonna happen. Believe me. It ain't gonna happen. I guess if the engine is really bad, you can try and start it by trying to move it. Give it like a little bit of a boost, but... It's not happening. But this is done. It's mine, baby. My beautiful truck. Oh, yeah. How badly damaged. Whoa. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a wreck. Every tire is flat. Hence, that was such a struggle. Such a struggle. Whew. Right, is it any good? So if I was going to buy it, for example, is it an off-road truck? It's a heavy duty truck. Okay, interesting. So very similar to the Fleet Star that we had earlier. Um, I'm not going to try this out yet, actually. The Caterpillar CT680. Power to weight is an S. That's impressive. I might have to try that out at some point. There's still loads of trucks to try out. Should we customize this? We have an engine. Ooh, A+. Durability also goes up as well. Beautiful. Let's go for an off-road gearbox. Fuel consumption does go down. Oh, it's locked. What? I feel like we would need that. I'm being honest. Yeah, 41, 43 inches is not much, is it? I've only got off-road tyres. Do I really want to try this out? I feel like it's going to stress me out. <laughs> um, so it's got capable all-wheel drive. So it does have that available. Got a massive wedge cap. Beautifuls. Add-ons, we have a fair amount. Flatbed. It's actually such a small truck, isn't it? Don't, I don't know. Do I want to put money into this truck or not? I don't know. I don't know. Does it have mud tires? That's, that is an issue for me. That is a massive issue. Don't know. I don't know what to do, okay? I don't know what to do. Front side, I've got a little visor. Lovely. Most of the add-ons, actually all of the add-ons. So this is the stock. Ooh, beastly. That looks clean. I think I'll leave it for now. I'll save my money. So the stock exhaust is that. It's actually okay. I like that exhaust. Look at that, it's just a big tube. <laughs> a big muzzle tube. Oh, we've got a decal for this one. Damn! Flaming Das! Flaming Das indeed. Right, so we have a quest. So basically, we have to go to the warehouse, pick up these drilling spare parts with a crane, and drop them off at the warehouse. Okay. But we know this route is pretty tough, and we don't have mud tires. Suspension has not been raised. So this will be interesting. Will it be able to cope? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it might need some help. But we give it a good go anyway. We give it a good go. This is a main contract, by the way. I don't know if I dropped those drilling spare parts at one point. Or whether that is actually the contract. I don't actually know. All wheel drive on. It does get really muddy around here. Really muddy. We've got the diff 
Uh, switchable now, can be locked, all wheel drive. It's just the raised suspension that we don't have. It's got an advanced winch, so that'll help us out a little bit. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Not the best start. As soon as I hit the mud, it went, it stops. I might try and loop around to the right here. That's possible. Yes, beautiful. I'll find my own route. Keep going, keep going. Oh, these branches keep getting in my way recently. We good, we good. That's probably the worst bit, to be honest. And a little bit too quick there. When you see the tires just spinning, just try and turn it down a, a notch. That helps out a surprising amount, actually. High gear, yay! I finally started using high gear correctly as well. I think I've sort of found what I what it's useful for there's so many like posts on reddit and forums saying what's the high gear for i think i've worked it out <laughs> eventually it took me a little while it is useful it does burn through fuel though just that high torque but it really does help through that not ultra rough terrain like super super duper muddy but this sort of terrain for example going up hills Helps out a lot. Doing alright. We're doing, we're doing good. I think we've a race suspension and mud tide. What's that in there? <laughs> what was going on there? That's probably when you want the high gear just to be on because it was, the gears were going down and the trucks will keep stopping. That's when you want high gear to be on, probably. Oh, okay, it's not over yet. Forgot about this bit. High gear! I'm going to regret that. I'm not. Feel good. Oh, that's bouncy. Oh, that's bouncy. That's bouncy. Don't have to worry about water too much. <laughs> With oh, yes we do. Take that back. Please don't roll over. Had enough of rolling over. Yes. The fact it didn't roll over there. I get some brownie points for that. Some big brownie points. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give up. We're moving. Yes! This truck with mud tires would be quite, quite juicy. That would be an absolute delight, actually. Oh, that's the high gear going. In. Maybe a tiny little, a little bit too early, a little bit ambitious. Oh, we haven't been inside yet. Oh, look at this interior. Jesus, from the 50s or something. Mad. Oh, that sounds broke. Ooh, not sure about that. That sounds very broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What? I like the wheel though. Look at this is classic. That lever. This is a classic truck. It will not be stopped. No, it won't. Yeah, just to confirm, by the way. Oh, it isn't all the vehicles. What? I thought that was the last vehicle. So I guess the vehicles that are part of contracts aren't a part of that stat. You have to actually find nine vehicles in the open world that are not attached to a task. Oh, okay. So we still got to try and find a vehicle then. Right, so it's down there. We can get that. Should be fairly easy-ish. Right, handbrake on. Let's put this anchor. Should I go a bit closer, actually? Yeah, let's go a bit closer. That makes sense. Activate the anchors. Here we go. You're going to see my, my crane skills, don't you? I know you do. They are a sight to behold, I promise. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. There we go. Lifting up. Yeah, I'm sure they've not really improved since the beginning of the game, to be honest. And that is almost it. All you got to do is try and get it on the on the flatbed in some way, or whatever trailer you're using. 
the movement can be a bit weird with the crane because it sort of follows the camera. It doesn't always do what you want. What we're going to do is drop it. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. And then pack it up. Woo! There we go. And then restore the crane. Lovely. Love it. Love it. Love it. We have what we need. I wonder if that helps with the balance, having the, the cargo at the back. Probably doesn't, actually. Probably does the opposite. And that is it. It's first job. And it succeeded. It definitely succeeded. Done, done, done well. Done very well. There we go. Yeah, I didn't really get much for that. But that was close. Well, thanks for putting that one to bed. No problemo. Right, so we're going to do one more contract before we conclude this episode. Steel River Supplies. So this is actually the last part of the township quest line. Uh, things are pretty rough around here right now. We've got food, water and fuel shortages. And people are starting to worry. If we don't deal with this soon, we're going to have a panic on our hands. We need your help. This is actually a very serious mission. They need supplies at the town right now. Fuel, food, whatever you can think of, they need. So we have the consumables already from the farm. So that's good. That's been ticked off. Now I've got the fuel. And wooden planks are pretty close to the town, so... That should be fairly doable, hopefully. Yeah, obviously due to the floods, they've just got shortages of many different materials and essentials that they need. And we are going to help. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. Hopefully we can get it done. As we all know, this is not the best truck in the game. <laughs> we know that to be true, but you should never un underestimate this truck. I'll tell you that right now. It's done well so far. Touch wood. It's done very well. Yeah, this is when the high gear is essential. Got a pretty heavy load. I love this decal. It's nice to have something a bit different. I've had that sort of plain red or white or whatever. It's, it's nice to have a, a different decal. I think they are planning on adding a few more uh, with the updates in the future. I am done for that. I want to see more decals. Thank you very much. We're going to stop off. Uh, we'll grab some fuel. The town isn't too far away, but I'm going to run out of fuel. That'd be stupid we get that done yeah if we I say this a lot but if we can get this done it's been a productive episode it all makes up for the absolute shambles of the last one yeah <laughs> it's a very different episode so far that's for sure very different episode alright let's, let's gas up if anyone, if anyone knows what that, that ninth vehicle is that I haven't got that should be in the open world for free, probably destroyed or something. Uh, let me know. It must be somewhere, surely. So yeah, keep going along this route here. Don't know how far to go now. Step in the right way. Yes, sorry. Always like to double check, just in case. I do not want to get lost. There's like three different options there. I was like, where do I go? Need to double check this. Pretty please. Pretty please with a cherry on top. That's auto now. These are nice roads. Could probably turn all wheel drive off actually. Give it a little break. Save some fuel. Oh, we are rocking now. Of course, we need to be careful though. Speed is great, but crashing is not good. I literally stopped accelerating and it acted like a brake. <laughs> wow. It's completely stopped moving. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Just dumped a service trailer there. I need to actually go around almost every map, every region, and collect all the trailers and sell them all. I'm fully aware I need to do that at some point. Whoa. Ouch. Yeah, that's definitely a task. It needs to be done. 100%. My gear up to the hill. Oh. Do you even need that? No. Maybe a little bit. 
Ooh, it struggled a little bit on that hill. It struggled. It's like, what gear do I go in? That could have been my fault, though, to be honest. I was messing with the gears too much. Right, the town is close. Do I take the shortcut across the stream, or do I go off-road? Oof. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. And then we need two wooden planks. That can easily fit on the flatbed. And that'll be it. I had to take the crane off. Because if I had the crane on this particular truck and the flatbed, there would not be enough room to drag a trailer. So, yeah, that has to be moved. Goodbye, multi crane. We're going for it. Ooh, whoa! Absolutely just wallops the suspension there. It's went for pure, pure speed. You can sort of see why I had issues in the last episode. Because sometimes my luck's going to run out. And it definitely did in the last episode, that's for sure. It does feel weird going back here. This is the first, I think the first job we ever had in the game. And we're still doing missions in this area right now. It's madness. Yeah. The town's going to love this. Food. Fuel. Beautiful, beautiful fuel. Let's get this dropped off. There we go. Done, baby, done. I gotta drop off the fuel detach. So now it's just the wooden plank. So if we go down here, I reckon. Yeah. It's a little bit off-road, but it's not actually that bad at all, to be honest. Should be okay. And that will conclude this contract. Still River will be done. We'll be saved from the evil floods. And we helped out so much. We've done a good, good job indeed. The town was worried. They lack supplies. But I saved the day. Turn left right here. I always say the day. It's what I do. The town loves me. What a pathetic horn. Ah, does anyone know if I add horns to the vehicle with customization, does it change the horn sound? That's the question. Please answer. I'm very interested. I need to know. Let's grab these wooden planks. Let's go home. Oh, and again. I'd say maybe durability isn't great for this vehicle. I mean, yes, I was going pretty quick there, but it wasn't that quick. It really wasn't. Wooden planks. Again, I'm pretty sure this was the first item I picked up in the game. <laughs> memories I'm sure if I went back now and watched my first episodes on this game I would probably cringe watching it I'd be like oh why did I do that for what are you doing I'm sure I would woulda woulda coulda but I'm pretty sure at the start of the game we had pretty bad trucks and no high gear no low gear I don't think certain vehicles, at least not lower plus. Didn't have a diff, I don't think. So there was a loads of loads and loads of options we just didn't have back then. So I can't be too critical on myself. It's almost done. A fairly ambitious contract. Four separate items. A fuel trailer. Pretty ambitious, but this little, this little truck did not give up. With its epic decals, it did not care. Did not care whatsoever. Good job. So we need high gear anymore. Whew. Drop it off. 
Oh, yeah, good, good, good on this, Scott. Great job. That's a, that's a great place to put the fuel carrier. I love it. Ah, oh, funny. Move that out of the way. <laughs> and we are done. Woo! Bit of money. Thank you. This is going to make a huge difference to folks around here. Time to roll up our sleeves and get this town fixed up. You know it. So we go to contracts. Steel River Township is done. Completely done. Whew. Not bad going. Not bad going at all. I think we want to try and maybe... Are these locked? Yeah, they're definitely locked. What do I need to do to unlock that? Harbour delivery. Let's have a look. Where's that? Oh, it's there. Okay, we'll need to unlock that. Instruments of development. Okay, how do I unlock that? <laughs> uh, lumber mill revival. Okay. So that's the next one I need to do. This one. That will be accepted. We need a trailer, some concrete blocks, and some metal beams. That'll be for the next episode. Access to, the, access to that location. That is in Island Lake. See you guys soon. Cannot wait. And bye-byes.